It's time for the Giz Whiz with Mads and Maddest Rider, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 2008, recorded October 3rd, 2024. Money to burn. On this episode of the Gizwiz, Diggity has two more fun toy gadgets, plus a what the heck is it, and we get to find out what the theme is for the spooky month of October. <laughs> All next on... It's the same dumb show with Dicky D and OMG chat on your PC. It's time for the Gizwiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease. Under pathology, rows and rows of USBs, growing blowing LEDs. Get ready for the Gizwiz now. Now, now, and here he is, the phantom of gadgets past, Dick D Bartolo. <laughs> How you doing, Dicky D? I'm doing good, sir. And you? Doing great. Doing very good. Excellent. Excellent. Can't believe know, it's October already. What on earth? It feels yeah, like we we're just Three having... Three quarters of the year is gone. <laughs> and I just learned to write uh, 2024 on my checks. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. We were only just having the New Year's Eve party. Uh, <laughs> like just yesterday. So that's yeah. not fair. Um, yeah, October, um, can't believe it, can't believe it. Uh, so we'll find out what the new theme of the Crappy Corner is. Oh, uh, I'm looking forward to that. Well, what's up with you? What's new? Uh, let's see, um, uh, oh, I got an a, a email from Spectrum about two hours ago, and I, I sent you a copy of it saying, your it's... speed has increased to 400 megabits. At okay. no additional cost and oh. unlimited mobile included for a year, but I don't want that. But actually, I had 350 megabytes normally, and now for some reason I have 500. <laughs> Wait. Two tests. But that's down, up, increased by one. Up, oh. I was getting 10 megabytes up. And now I'm getting 11.1 megabytes up. Huh. But 500 down. I would have thought that the up would have really increased. Like, Yeah, me too. I would have thought me that too. would have like matched the down once you yeah. switched. Yeah, those. me, yeah. Well, and uh, still with, uh, with Fios, it's turning out to be just like one would expect from Verizon. I had a a note hanging on the front door two weeks ago. We need to get into your backyard. Please call this number. So I called and this woman said, uh, we get into the backyard on Monday. I said, you know, it was the day I was going to the museum uh, up in uh, Massachusetts. I said, I I I'm leaving here at 10. She said, we'll come at nine. I said, that's <laughs> fine. Because once they're in the yard, I can show them how they can leave through the oh, yeah. basement. And then, of course, Monday morning, that Monday morning, uh, I call to confirm, and it's a different person. Uh, what's the address? Oh, oh, uh, yeah, we should be there by one. <laughs> I said, hello, on Friday, they told me nine o'clock. Well, I'll check it and get back to you. And that's the last they ever heard from him. <laughs> so. I love how it gives you the impression, it's like, Oh, 9 a.m.? Yeah, sure. Oh, yeah, we'll be there. Click. <laughs> that other department will deal with that. <laughs> yeah, yes, exactly. Yes, that's, exa that's exactly how it works. That's exactly how it works. <laughs> Not my problem. <laughs> yeah. No. That's funny. Anyway. Well. And you, anything thrilling with you? Uh, not really. Nothing Nothing too new. No, nothing, nothing really. Mm, okay. um, that's crazy that, though, just because they've installed the hardware, you now get faster service for nothing. That's great. Yes. I think, I think Spectrum is saying, wait a minute. They're wiring every building now. Before, um, Fios was just in tall buildings. And I remember, like... Two years ago, I saw a guy with, in a Fios truck, and I said, one of the brownstones is getting it. And he said, oh, like, never? 
<laughs> he, said, he said, Verizon doesn't care about the little buildings. Evidently, they started to. The, the interesting thing was I went down the cellar uh, after talking to that first woman just to make sure the path between the cellar and getting out of the building was clear. And I saw that not only did Verizon wire the hallways, they have a big distribution box already mounted on the wall in the basement. <laughs> That's great. So the hardware is getting serious. It's just <laughs> they're not connecting it to anything. The service needs to come. And in the meantime, Spectrum is saying, oh, yeah, we have these extra bits that we could unlock uh, yes. here. Yeah. Have a little bit faster internet. They're trying their yeah, hardest. How, how about that? How about that? <laughs> wow, that's exciting. That's really exciting. Um, yeah. yeah, I don't think I really try to think if anything exciting happened this last week. Not really. Went and saw the Joker. Yeah, nothing. Yeah, okay, I'm going to kind of mention one other thing. Is yeah. you, you ever get COVID tests for free from the government? I did. I haven't in probably the last year. Uh, okay. All right. Yeah. So they're offering them again. They started. Um, mid-September, and uh, very fast. I ordered them on a Monday. I had them on a Thursday or Friday. But it's a little bit different. In the box, there's a little uh, code thing like this, is that the test you have may, be exp may say expired. <laughs> I've, seen, I've seen this. Yeah, so please go to this uh, Q code. And so basically, actually, the test they sent Dennis and I expired December 2023. And after going to the website and going through like a thousand serial numbers, I find they've been extended by one year. So it's oh. not a lot. It's no, they're good for the next. I wonder three. if they test it. <laughs> they Literally, they're like, we got this batch, okay, from the serial, rip it open. Still works. And then next year, they'll they'll update the list. Uh, let's test it again. No, it still works. It'll work for 2025 as well. Look at that. It, it may be that way. It may be that way. Um, but to, just go online and, and uh, type in United States Postal Service pre-COVID test, and they're very fast. You get four of them for free. And uh, if you want them, just remember they may be short-dated. Perhaps if you wait a month or two, they'll be rid of the old ones and start sending out later ones. <laughs> Hawk's supposed to it says, if only that would work with milk. And maybe it might. You could take your milk back past the expiration and say, is it still good? And they'll smell it for you and let you know. Oh, that, oh yeah. There you go. That's I think good. that this is a service that every uh, grocery store should offer, honestly. Uh, okay, so let's jump into some gadgets. Shall okay, we? yeah, the, uh, this first gadget I think is so cute for kids. Let's take a peek. So little kids has something else. It's the camping activity kit. Activity fort. Activ activity fort. And Chad, what? I don't know what your parents paid for their RV, but <laughs> take a look at this. Well, they just replaced the awning, and that awning looks now, pretty good. Do you need? to put it on something or does it come with all the pipes to actually set it up? Yeah, so it comes with everything you need to set it up and then there's built-in activities as well. So there's five different activities you can play. So in addition to having the fort, you've got games and things to do. So this is awning toss. So you can oh, take oh your God. marshmallow pieces and toss them oh. for three points, two points, one point. So oh, I got two points. Oh, uh, okay. What if it goes in the hole? That's great. Great. Oh, that's three. the win. Okay. So okay, you, that's I'm going to crouch down. You can also um, have a picnic. <laughs> and then on the other side, you can play tic tac toe with your graham cracker oh and my, chocolate pieces. Oh, how great. You can make s'mores and take them, <laughs> of course. And then it also includes these Bluey and Bingo puppets. And there is in the back a puppet show window and a light inside. So when it's dark out, you can put on a little puppet oh show. Oh, my gosh. Can we see the window in the back? Yeah. Is it hard to see? No, it's just the white and then... Oh, I see. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, do it. Yeah, do it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, how... Oh, wow. Funny. It really works. Oh, it's Chad and Dick. They're there you go. It's the Disney show <laughs> on the road. <laughs> 
That is so clever. <laughs> and what does the entire kit cost? So this will be um, $80 on Amazon, and it should be launching in November. And we'll also have a consolidated version um, with a less, couple less pieces for $50 at CVS. Okay, November so 50 1st. or 80 yep. after November 1st. Yep. Uh, I love this. This is... I, I think it's really clever. I love that little puppet thing. That's great. It's like a little Chad and a little Dickie. It is. <laughs> it reminds me of like instead of a uh, uh, kitchen set in a playroom, you'd have this set up, you know, and just go crazy with it. Those are so cool. Yeah, fun. It's, it's, it's very clever. Now, I only found it online at one place, and they want $100 for it. And they say... Um, I think they said it's shipping October 20th. So or she said it'd be available November 1st. So maybe they got them ahead of time or something. Yeah. But if you wait, it's supposed to be only 80 bucks. And with less accessories, it's going to be 50 bucks. Man, but it, cool. it's very clever. I, I think it's just. Yeah. And, and it's, you know, you need a little bit. It says parents may be necessary to help you set it up the first time. Yeah. Yeah. And these characters, I don't know if you know them, Bluey, huge. Yes, Bluey is, it's actually called the uh, Bluey uh, Outdoor camping, Activity. Yeah. Adventure the, Activity camping Fort. Ad <laughs> yeah. Adventure Activity Fort. Uh, yeah, Bluey is a hugely popular animation um, uh, for little kids, so... That's great. Great partnership <laughs> there. Great IP for that type of toy. Uh, Absolutely. Absolutely. And okay. then the final thing is, he, he, th this man said it's for, for toddlers with their parents' help. Anyway, take a look. Okay. Oh, uh, what is the name of this company? Oh, oh. it's called Toy Lab. Uh -huh. And we're going to find out what this is. Yeah, this is Gravy Blocks. It's two in one ball run and building blocks. In the box, you have 55 pieces, including two large size balls for 18 months and older. Right. 18 months? 18 months and older. You can play up to five or six years old. Really flexible. Oh, okay, so the, the parents would build this. The parents will build with the baby. With the baby? With the baby for engaged play. Oh, oh, oh. Right. Okay. So every, there's no sharp edges or anything? No sharp edges, beautiful colors, premium quality design in Japan. Okay. Does right. it all fit in this box? Everything, 55 pieces, fit in the box. Comes in, okay. And build, you can build on top of the lid oh, as well. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay. And, uh, so you roll it. You roll it. You understand cause effect. Right? And you build everything top destroy everything and build again right you can build tracks you can build cars build plants oh how cute right yeah oh, with the wheels yeah the oh, actual yes. working wheels yeah and what is the the whole kit uh, sell for retail is 45 bucks 45 45 okay. is it out now it's out available now okay yep. uh, i think that is very very cute toy lab and the name of this is webby blocks Gravity blocks. Gravity blocks. Gravity. It is spelled weird as gravity. Gravity blocks. Gravity. Yeah. Gra they're, they're going for gravity. Gravity I blocks, but gravity blocks. Gravity blocks. Um, Those are fun. But I, I, how could an eighteen-year-old? I, I don't. Or eighteen sure. month old would be a year, a year and a half old. Yeah. Are they going to help build? I think a year and a half could probably handle could this. That. Okay. It is weird. I, I, yeah. Eight, yeah. 18 months old makes it sound like, <laughs> like, I don't know. A year and a half. Is that still really toddler? It is weird that he said toddler. A year toddler. and a half. 18 months doesn't seem too toddlery. Chat room. Can an 18 month old help build this with their parents? I, uh, nobody, no, nobody. We can need, we need real parents to uh, to weigh in. <laughs> what is the mental capacity of an eighteen year month old? Um, it looks like it's well designed and well made, like all the plastic. Yes, I, I think so too. I, I got the same feeling just handling those pieces that 
it was very well built. Yeah, it just seems high oh, Becky quality. said yes, yes, yes. Okay, it's a yeah, it's a toddler. Okay, when does toddler right. end? I'm just a, I'm just ignorant. When does I need to ask? When does Generation T? When does Generation Toddler end? <laughs> Between the, oh, oh, the ages God. of one and three, I thought toddler Empty. was like a holdable only. Me I'm too. Just wrong. I, I'm just wrong. Empty just Pocket a, said he has a he a one and a half year old has an iPhone. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I guess so. You know, okay. at, at 18 months, you you should be on iOS at least. <laughs> um, yeah, I know, but not like, a co not ahead of a corporation until you're five. I think five is about <laughs> the lowest you should be. But definitely start your Roth IRA at four for sure. Yeah. Oh, that's well. That's always uh, that's that's just pretty common much sense. a given. Common that's sense. A, that's a, that's a given. That's how compound interest works um okay see that i i guess i'm thinking of an infant some sir rachel's is yeah, me correcting too. me, me too. i'm thinking of an infant. yes yes i is that's the toddler, what we they are. toddle over yeah they toddle yeah. around both yeah. of us guys who have not been parents are confused on when a toddler <laughs> is um anyway back to the gadget i think it's i think it's great it seems a bit expensive but also it seems it's that type of product. It seems like it's that specialty, high quality, especially in that learning at the, the you know, the, yeah, almost and, like. And STEM. it seems it seems just looking at it for a, a few minutes that there are no sharp edges and really hard to a toddler to hurt <laughs> themselves on it. You learn something every day. I just yeah. learned, honestly, I just learned a toddler exists until three years old. Um, Okay, so next gadget, shall we? Okay, now colorful, but see if you can guess what it is. Ah, okay. It's a, what the heck is it? All right, I know what it is, but I've not seen it in person. Hmm. I took it out of the box because the box says what it is. Uh, uh, uh. Huh. Dennis. What? <laughs> I see the power button. What? I see the charging thing, but I really it? have no idea other than that. Boy, is it I a think pencil sharpener? Me. I I would. I really have no idea. A, I would. If I were it's playing, a dispenser of some kind. I was going to say it, it looks like a bank. Yeah, Maybe bank. A, okay. Mm -hmm. It kind of seems like it would do a song and dance. You hit one oh, button. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. Oh, that's a good guess. You know, mm -hmm. it'll move around mm -hmm. or like. The pet. Spray, oh. baby brush, a, a pet brush. Okay, now I saw this on Amazon and I thought, what? It actually, what is it doing? It's like it's a two-part thing. I was also wondering you if it was a bottle opener. Fill this with water. What? You got the little thing here, and then yeah, can opener. You in your pocket is what I thought. Heat the water. What's it, USB-C? Yep, USB-C, okay. What? And then... Uh, um, this storyline isn't making sense. Uh, water, heat the water. Fill a small bottle with water. Open the plug on the top of the steamer. I guess this is the plug. Uh, fill it. You can add deodorant or hair softener huh. to the liquid if you want. Switch button, and the spray port will start spraying while you are brushing. There's no water in it. So that's the on button. This must be... Oh, that's where the water goes. Okay. And then... So are you steaming your dog? Sort of. Oh, You'll little, see. Uh, we actually this must be a get Charlie little, in. Okay, okay. I'm so plug intrigued. Over, yeah, it's a little plug over the charging port so you don't get water in the machine. And then somehow, did they put this here on purpose? Oh, I guess they want you to take this out. Well, I hope they want you to take this out. Okay. All right. Ah. It so you spray, spray and brush. This is <laughs> Charlie's in for a surprise. You spray and brush. And then after when you, you're done brushing, you push ah, this. 
and that was already that out. Ah. And all the hair will come off the little prongs here, and you throw the hair away. Okay? That's how it works. We're going to charge it. We're going to fill it with water. We're going to make moisture. And we're going to get Charlie in here. <laughs> the pet spray brush is filled with water. We charged it. Okay. And I'm going to push this button. And in Charlie's theory, very interested. Yeah. Huh? Okay, now. Oh, oh, look at how fast that happened. Ah, oh, so it's one of those on, little. Uh, Charlie, come here. Uh, yeah, atomizers. It's, 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 I don't know why they call it steam. It, it, it's uh, yeah. making Charlie, mist. Yeah, it's that cold mist atomizer that we've yeah. seen from like oh, have to some of the, the humidifiers. All right, Charlie, all I'm going to do is do this. Yeah, and those little fans. Yeah, yeah, look yeah that type oh, of technology. Nice. Doesn't this nice? Look at Oh, boy, <laughs> look at that tail. Look what a model. All right. Yeah, <laughs> brushing. brushing. Look at that, looking mm -hmm. turning towards the camera. Mm, fogging. I see. So it's like humidify oh, you, your you animal. Good. This is very nice. <laughs> and if you, uh, those are work nice. really well with like uh, yeah. some essential oils and things. So I, I could see if you wanted yeah. some type of uh, it does a nice fragrance. Job. And it's supposed okay. to prevent, you know, get loose hairs off so you don't have floating okay. hair around and no, no static and electricity. So I'm going to push this. Interesting. So the moisture now, helps reduce the yeah. static. Ah. To put. If I do this enough, I, I can see. have a head of hair. So, so that's damp right enough there. to not float away. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like them. I like them. <laughs> do you feel like your mustache yeah, is doing something it says not to do? Conditioned, but so far it's okay. <laughs> it says make sure the brush is facing down while you're steaming using the steam. But no water did leak out. Um, anyway, I think it's pretty neat. Okay, so we'll have Chad go to the web and see the current price and ratings. But that's it. I'm I'm so interested in it. That is so. <laughs> Do, do you feel like it's more useful than a, than just a normal brush? I, I, I think so, because I think that little steam thing is going to sort of give the fur a little bit of a cleaning. Yeah, and I can, well, or at least it seems like it'll help with the, like one of the issues is I'd like brush my dog, and then immediately the hair is floating in the air, yeah. and it's kind of all over the place. And it makes me want to brush him outside. You know, it's like, oh, you know. So I was wondering if it might help with that, too. Is yeah, like, no, that uh, it points out one of the things is that it stops floating hair while you're brushing your dog. Interesting. And it's, boy, it's inexpensive. Yeah. 16 bucks. Yeah. Interesting. Very interesting. Well, what like, kind of rating did it get? I didn't even check. Uh, let me, uh, here, let's just keep scrolling down. We'll get there eventually. Oh! There we go. Um, pretty good. Oh, a lot of four oh. stars. More four stars than five stars, which is okay. I usually add to them me. together. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, medi mediocre is kind of what I take from the, from the, that. Oh, star okay, okay. You know, like it's good. It works. People are people are it are thinking. Eh, did its job. Not five stars, but it did its job. Um, yeah, is what I'm thinking. Five paws up for me, says Spaceman. <laughs> I, I'm, I am, uh, I'm intrigued. My first thought was it seemed gimmicky, but I really would like my, I don't know. I'd like to try it. That seems interesting. Yeah, I mean, 16 uh, bucks. Yeah, 16 bucks. And you can return it if you hate it. Exactly. S -s put some lavender and that little oil pop up in screen there. thing worked very nice. Yeah, and that po yeah, the little ejector button for the fur yeah. is pretty to, cool. Yeah, to get the hair off the brush really fast. Yeah, yeah. That's great. Okay, cool. Um, well, with that, it is time. Ooh, oh boy. To... Oh boy. You know you don't need it, but you might want it at Chad's Crappy Corner. Get it. Okie dokie. It is a new month and a new theme. 
And I knew if I put Hall the Halloween theme on the, uh, the Patreon poll for this new month's uh, Crappy Corner theme, it was going to win. And so I thought, let's make them all Halloween themed. So all of the uh, poll options were slightly Halloween-y. So the first okay. option that the patrons had to, uh, to vote on were prank gadgets. So gadgets to spook your friends or scare your friends oh, or okay. pull off pranks. Next That's was Halloween, Halloween decoration gadgets. So kind of what we've done in the past where we, we look for light bulbs or LED skeleton type things, that type of stuff. And then the last category was wearable costume-like gadgets. So... Wow. Uh, same type of Halloween vibe. Yeah. We're still looking for LEDs and cool effects, but in a costume piece, not in a decoration piece. So, knowing that those are the three categories, what do you think that the patrons decided on? What was the last one? Wearable? Wearable. Basically costume. Costume oh, gadgets, costume. decor, Halloween gadgets, and prank gadgets. Boy, I, I think prank is last. Okay. Um, uh, I'm going to go with decoration as first. Yeah, you. Yeah, that's what they wanted. Funny enough, prank and costume tied at 26%. Oh, my God. Oh, okay, okay. And then uh, Halloween Gadgets uh, took it away with 47% of the vote. So... We got the oh, Halloween boy, I like it. Oh, wow. decor. And of course, if I think of Halloween decor, the first thing that comes to mind is hide and eek from Target, the yes. old telephone. So I had to go check out Target and see what they had in stock. So here we go. Happy Halloween. It is this Wow, it's so season. real looking. So we have <laughs> our black cat our studio black cat here jack jack and uh as you know the theme is halloween decoration gadgets and of course i had to head to target to see their hide and eek line uh this has kind of become famous on our show because of uh i'm sure we've already talked about it the um phone and this was one of the things that i saw there that i picked up uh, first off, let's just talk about the price. Only 20 bucks. Pretty happy about that. Wow. Obviously, this is a crystal ball style decor with the cool skeleton hands. But obviously, knowing that this is hide neek, it's going to do an effect. And we hope that it's really cool. And I think this is one of the cooler effects that was at the store. So here it is. Trick or treat. Mischief away. Ooh, 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 ooh. We can turn off the lights uh, this time uh, to give you just a, kind of another idea of uh, what it looks like. We'll leave that on there. Beware of spooky surprises. Whoa. So I love the, uh, the effect. There's a few effects going on here. Uh, I love this LED Hello sort of like wave of effect yeah. that's going on down there. Yeah. And then, of course, you have uh, the skeleton's skull. And I can also turn this on to a mode where he's just not going to make any noise uh, at the moment. So you got the skull and then obviously his mouth uh, highlights while he's talking, which is really, really cool. It adds like a really neat like puppet effect uh, to the whole thing. So absolutely love this effect as well. He has a few different lines. Uh, it's very similar to the phone where, um, you know, eventually uh, he'll repeat a few lines. Um, the instructions are actually really clear, and they're here at the bottom of the thing. It's all in words. Uh, don't worry about that. I read them all. Um, but uh, it does say to replace the batteries as soon as you get it, although it does seem to be working uh, just fine. It has three modes, and uh, they're easily switched just on the bottom, and it is on, mute, and off. So in the off position, which is actually the position we were in before, it won't do anything until you hit the try me button and it'll make the sound. 
In the mute button, it turns on its sound activated mode. It doesn't have a motion sensor, it only has a sound sensor. So in this mode, any loud sound uh, will activate it uh, to, to start its animation. But we're in mute mode, so there's no sound uh, in this mode. And then turning it to on is the sound activated with it making its own sound. So we're just gonna go ahead and uh, mute this uh, there. So 20 bucks, I think this is one of the coolest effects. This is a really, really cool, even from the other angle that you can't see the skull, I really, really like no, the lighting really, effect. They, also, cause it's sound bucks. activated. Wow. Um, it's kind of nice that you can walk past it without uh, it going off. Um, and then also if it's really, really quiet, you can kind of tap it and it'll, the, it'll like, bump the microphone and so it seems like it's touch activated which is really really cool at 20 bucks i think that it was absolutely worth it uh and then as a final little bonus i went and i couldn't buy all of the gadgets there but i did record some of the other uh halloween decor that's at target so we can just kind of take a look at some of the other fun decor that they have at target and this is basically all a lot of the hide and eek stuff. A lot. We went to Target last week. Uh -huh. Wow. This one, I thought this was a contender. Half of its head is a disco ball, disco oh, light, disco head. Yeah. Look at his eyes change color. Is more like a uh, almost like a flame effect. Wow. This one, that little ghost moves back and forth. I thought it was so funny. <laughs> <laughs> that one started bumping its neighbor. <laughs> yeah. I can't believe how much movement and motors were incorporated. Oh, those are, oh, those are great. The bats are great. And that's really it. There you go. Our hide and eek adventure. Um, and I think this is going to be- Did you see the life-size skeletons? <laughs> I saw, they have, they have like a, they have like a character skeleton that's like eight feet tall, but they're trying to name him and like make him a character. He's like, hi, my name's Jeff or something. And then later in the store, I saw a t-shirt with his face on it and they were trying to sell a t-shirt for the model guy that they're selling back. It was weird. I don't know. I don't know about, about the skeleton situation. They were trying to make something happen over there at Target. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, I did see some of the skeletons. They have- Yes, uh, and ske the full-size skeletons were 40 bucks. Yeah. And they look great. Yeah, it, it was very reasonable and uh, lots of clever stuff. It's one of those, yeah. it, I, it, it was just like, it's cool that it changes every year and they really put some yeah. thought into it. But they did one very stupid thing is yeah. they came out with you know, you know, we love the phone. I have the phone over <laughs> my other desk. They came out with a modern push-button phone <laughs> that you pick up and hear this. It's like it's like horrible comp compared. Yes, it's it's like wait a minute. The old-fashioned phone made sense. Yes, not a modern-day phone that you put the old voice in. <laughs> anyway. Exactly. Exactly. That that no creative. At all. Come on, <laughs> yeah, folks. No. What the heck? But that's um, very good. And 20 bucks is great. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So here it is uh, online, but uh, there's a lot of the hide and eek things. In fact, I think Scooter X just shared kind of the full uh, line here of hide and eek stuff. Look at that little dog. Oh, it's the Target dog. Oh, my God. It's oh the my French God. Bulldog Target dog. <laughs> Um, but yeah, as oh you see, they, they got oh 47 gosh. pages of things, oh. lots and lots of stuff. Uh, so there you go. Nice little gadget. So, uh, we're going to be taking a look at some Halloween decor all month 
long. Should be a very, very fun uh, category. And so uh, thank you to the patrons for yeah. voting. You know what? Me. Why don't we just mention our plan for Halloween? Oh, yeah. Go ahead. I haven't put it up yet, but since you are viewing or talking Halloween, we are doing a show on Halloween. It turns out Halloween is a Thursday. So we're going to do a regular show. We already know now that Chad will have Halloween gadgets. We're both going to have our sets ready for Halloween. And after the regular show, at its regular time, we'll take a little break and come back and do our Halloween virtual meetup. Exactly. So keep that in mind. We need photos, videos, anything you're doing for Halloween, your neighbors are doing. Uh, we'll ask you a little later in the month so we don't start getting them now. Uh, but a Halloween show on Halloween, followed by a Halloween virtual meetup shortly after our regular show on October 31st. It'll be It'll fun. Be spooky. <laughs> With that, let's head into Dick's Gadget Warehouse. They're geeky and they're goofy. Together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away, he takes them out to play. In Dick's Gadget Warehouse. Oh. Okay, we haven't heard from Buddy Yates in a while, so we were thrilled to get a new video from him simply with the subject line, Prop Money. Oh. Hey, Dickie D. Hey, Chad. Hey, buddy. Hey, chat room. But, buddy Yates from Palm Springs again. I'm still walking. I'm about 600 miles from home. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is a gadget that has no batteries. It doesn't connect to the internet. Um, it'll never stop working. And uh, here's my review. Yeah. Kizwiz Magic Trick Take 23. <laughs> this is starting to get expensive. <laughs> so, have someone in the audience uh, sign or draw on a $100 bill. And then... You take that hundred dollar bill and you. Oh, that is an expensive trick. And then you tear it in half again. Oh my, this wow. is insult to injury. This and is going to be very the, good when he unfolds. Now we have four equal pieces. <laughs> and say the magic words. It makes its own gravy. <laughs> Same done the <laughs> show. Wow! Wow! And it's whole again. I messed up the trick, but you get the idea. I need no, you didn't. practice. Yeah. So I went on Amazon and I bought a hundred thousand dollars <laughs> worth of prop money <laughs> to find, and I wanted something that was the right size, shape, and color. Uh, one of these is a real hundred, and one's a prop hundred. There are lots of prop bills to choose from and no photos of the money, so I had to rely on the reviews. The only negative reviews for this brand was the paper doesn't feel right. The bills are printed on bond paper. I'm not a counterfeiter, so I don't want it to feel right. <laughs> you can buy different denominations, and uh, you can buy different amounts, obviously. Uh, the band is a nice touch, and uh, they look pretty good. They look really I good. I chose $100,000 of 10 bundles of $10,000 each. The more you buy, the cheaper they get. These thousand bills were $30, about three cents each. I've seen paperweights made of stacks of dollars. A real bill on top and bottom of the stack of paper makes the stack look like real money. True. I can think of so many fun things to do with 100,000 prop dollars. I might stamp my YouTube channel on some of the bills to make what Chad calls merch. <laughs> <laughs> Next time you go out on a date, stuff your wallet full of these 
and you'll really impress uh, your date. <laughs> so I can think of uh, a lot of things to do with these um, as business cards or bag stuffers or paper airplanes. Yeah, um, or magic tricks. So $100,000 worth of prop hundreds for $30. I, I thought that was a good price. The quality's good and uh, I'm entertained. So anywho, uh, thanks for watching. Catch you next time. <laughs> ah, I absolutely love it. Uh, I've actually bought fake money before. You uh, did, you have? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Last Christmas, we had a white elephant and I thought I'd buy, <laughs> Make it so it looks like you're unwrapping a hundred thousand dollars or oh my ten thousand dollars, whatever it was, and then it would just be fake money, you know. And I think I also added in a, uh, I added in one of those uh, guns that can like fire off the money, like the money make it rain guns. I threw that in the little white elephant. I thought that would be funny. Oh my god! So me and Buddy Yates uh, thinking the same thing. This is great. You know what? I uh, isn't it almost dangerous? Couldn't you really fool somebody with that? Yes. And if you did really fool someone and went through the action of really fooling someone, you would get really in trouble for it. <laughs> so wow. don't. <laughs> Act yeah. for fun and yeah. laughing with your friends. And as long as you don't yeah. walk into a 7-Eleven with it, uh, you'll be fine. You'll now, be fine. it turns out the link Buddy put in his email came up as no longer available. But as he showed you, yeah. look at how many. Yeah. Uh, and, and the one, go to the top again. Uh -huh. That assortment includes every kind of bill. Yeah. You got the including 50s, the 20s. Even the, the $2 bills. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know how. Yeah. Yeah. God. Yeah, that's crazy. Uh, Scooter X found this one. 490. This one's pretty inexpensive. This is $13 for a whole bunch of pieces. This is the oh. thing is you, you need to really check what you're buying because some of the pieces can just be a piece of paper. <laughs> you know, it might say 100 pieces and you're just getting 100 oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. pages of paper. Um, so, yeah, definitely look at the reviews and, and, wow. and look around and... And uh, choose a good one. And be yeah, and make sure that the person knows it's a fake bill. <laughs> exactly. When you some of them are. Some good. of the printing is more obvious than others too, depending on which uh, you buy. Some of them, like say, you know, movie money, obviously on it. Some don't. Right. So it right. really is up to you uh, to. Uh, yeah. To, to get I, it. I was quite fun. amazed that. Amazon, not only selling that, but selling so many versions of it. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, crazy stuff. Very fun, though. And it, when you want to practice your magic trick, you don't have to blow through actual hundreds. No, that's true. That's true. <laughs> that's great. Uh, so, buddy, buddy, you will be getting the December issue of Mad, which is has 20-plus pages of new material in it. And if you want to send in a video um, within the next couple of weeks, you'll get that as your prize once we show you a video. Uh, make a video one to three minutes. Uh, like Buddy, you can be in it if you want. Just make sure we can see whatever it is you are talking about and hear you and uh, landscape format. Put up on YouTube. When you upload, there is a drop-down menu and click Unlisted. And that way, only people with the URL will be able to see your video and send that URL to us, mail at gizwiz.tv, mail at gizwiz.tv. Do it now. And one final thought about the counterfeit money. You, yes. do you, you know the agency, and it's not that big of a thing, but you know the agency that would contact you about the counterfeit bills? FBI? Mm-mm. Secret Service. Secret Service oh. is still in the business of counterfeit. Uh, that used to be kind of the only, uh, yeah, uh, Crispy got it. That used to be, way back in the day, kind of the only national 
uh, enforcement arm. Uh, and so they gave the job to Secret Service and they've had it forever. So Secret Service. Oh, is I thought it was the FBI, thing. the fake bill investigators. <laughs> That's what I need to be. Uh, let me see all of y'all's money and I will be the FBI. <laughs> And then redistribute. Uh, okay, with that, let's move into the letter. Become the letters. Your lovely letters. Become the Gizmo's letters now. Now. Now, Angela Newhook, who has sent in videos and emails, said, Chad, ah. again, you were talking about a scene on TV stores. Sorry to disappoint you. We have them here. In Nova Scotia, <laughs> <clears throat> they look a bit different. The theme uh -oh. is the same. And uh -oh. I love this store, but they seem to have an online store. presence online. Wow. <clears throat> this is well, a great saw it. way to like figure out what gadget. This is, ooh, look at that one. The smart spin. That looks fun. Oh, get out of here, alien tape. Well, I've tried you. Oh, my before. God. Oh, my God. <laughs> alien tape. Oh, they're the scrubby. Scrub mommy. The scrub daddy. The pink stuff. I didn't realize that was a as seen on TV. What is this crazy wallet? The Slim Mint wallet. RFID. That looks anything but slim, actually. Yes, exact, exactly. Let's, let's, ah, get out of here, website. Oh, is it that all? And that's, is that it? Oh, how much is it? $30! Okay, let's see this thing. I, this is not what I, I do not want a plastic. Oh, no. That... Chunky. Also, RFID blocking is not that impressive. There are so many things that RFID block. Uh, that's really funny. And isn't it true that it's really difficult to do something through someone's wallet? Oh, probably. The, the other thing, I, I mean, from, you know, being at Twit and, like, listening to security now. Yeah, stuff, yeah, it, right. Really, it's, like, the amount of the hacks and stuff seem so particular. I don't know. I just don't care about them anymore. Honestly. Also, worst case, someone scans my little credit card, gets my number, makes a fraudulent charge... And then I talk to the credit card company and say, that's a fraudulent charge. And then they get rid of it and they cost me nothing. <laughs> so I was like, I don't know. I was like, I don't, it just doesn't, I don't worry too much about the RFID yeah. blocking stuff. It just doesn't seem like practically it is something I have to worry about uh, day to day, uh, basically. Yeah. Uh, well, this well, is fun. This you is don't cool. use your credit. You don't oh. use your credit card now with all those fake bills. <laughs> I'm paying cash. Who, I'm paying cash. Who needs credit when you got fake cash? Yeah. I, yeah, exactly. It, it, spins, exactly. it spins easier than real cash. <laughs> fake cash, baby. You got to get on the fake cash train. It spins really easy. Uh, that's funny. Now, are you someone, I'm curious, are you someone who, uh, do you use a mobile wallet? Do you use tap to pay or your phone? To pay for anything? You know what? I do not have my any banking on my phone. Mm -hmm. I'm just afraid to. But on my computer, and I used uh, Google Virtual Card. Ah, the, yeah. Use the that too, yeah. Wallet. You, yeah, exactly. yeah, virtual wallet will yeah. make up a credit card that is attached to your real credit card, but... It makes up numbers for each purchase. Yeah, that's nice. That's oh. nice. Um, and I'll just, and just say, yeah, I use Apple Pay now. If I can, I would rather do that. And mostly because it's way faster than sticking in the chip. It will process the transaction faster than if I take the thing out, stick the chip yes, in. Yes, no, absolutely, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. So I've been doing tap to pay more often just because it's... Um, like just the processing time of the unit seems faster. Uh, well, thank you so much for the letter. Love the showcase and the as seen on TV gadgets. That's fun. Um, I really did think that as seen on TV gadget stores were a bit more rare than they seem to be. They seem to be yeah kind of all over the place. I think they're getting rare because 
I don't. You don't see many TV as seen on TV ads anymore. Maybe they figured we don't have to run ads. We just put on the box as literally. seen on TV. Literally, literally. Yeah, as seen on and TV people means say, "Oh, well, I guess I did see it on TV." Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, everyone has that like Mandela effect. Of, like, yeah, I think I saw that commercial. Seems reasonable. Um, that's great. Uh, I want to say a big thank you to our patrons over at patreon.com slash gizwiz. You guys are fantastic. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for supporting our show. If you like the show, please consider giving back. Patreon.com slash gizwiz. That's where you can support the show. You can also head on over to our website, gizwiz.tv. There you'll uh, find links to all the previous episodes. You'll find our live stream. And you'll also find a big link at the top of the uh, website to our Patreon page. If our website would load. One second. I don't think it will. Um, and, uh, if, uh, and after that big link to the Patreon page, there's a tiny little link to our PayPal as well. So however you want to support uh, you can do so at our website, gizwiz.tv. Uh, that's where you watch the show live, just about every Thursday, 4.30 Pacific time, uh, 7.30 Eastern time. And uh, just tune into the website whenever we are live, uh, gizwiz.tv. Head on over to gizwiz.biz. That's where Dickie D writes articles about all of the gadgets that we talk about on this show. So if you're ever needing a link back to a gadget or a gizmo, Head on over to gizwiz.biz. While you're there, play What the Heck Is It? And this is the gadget that you gotta guess. Um, and this is uh, obvious to me that uh, this is a gadget for um, an industrial lighting situations where you need to keep those industrial lighting lubricants nearby, you know. Uh, that's the hook that they use. It's a very particular gadget. But if you think you know what this is, gadget is, get a guessin'. Uh, Gizwiz.biz, six mad magazines for correct answers, 12 mad magazines for funny, clever, or hilarious answers, get a guessin' over at Gizwiz.biz. This is what you win, this mad magazine signed by Dickie D himself and... This has original content in it. This isn't, yes. This isn't just yes. a reprint. This is the original mad content. So you know you want it. Gizwiz.biz is the place to go. Uh, that about wraps up for our show. I'll see you next week. I'll be here. <laughs>